right, Mandy, it is Berry Fest on Webkin's Classic, which is very exciting. Yeah, one of my favorite times of year. You know that the Jumbleberry Fields prizes are among my favorites, right, Michael? Yeah, no, absolutely. So every day during Berry Fest, which actually runs until Thursday, June 30th, you're going to be able to click on floating jumbleberries for the chance to collect a berry from Jumbleberry Fields or a Googleberry or Polarberry, which are really special berries that are only available during Berry Fest that you can feed to your pet to win prizes. We have some new prizes this year. We're going to go to my room and feed my pet some of those berries and show off the new prizes. I just wanted to show uh, Jumbleberry Fields here quickly. We won't play through the whole game, but um, as I said, you'll get a bonus play every day day during berry fest which is a lot of fun and mandy there's a trick to turn on floaty clickies while you're in the arcade right there is maybe players would prefer not to see floaty clickies during games which is fine that's the way it's set up because it can be distracting but there are times when you think i really don't want to miss that floaty clicky and and so if you want to see floaty clickies while you're playing in the arcade open up the W shop while you're in the arcade and after that they'll appear right yep you just open and close the W shop sorry my pet's hungry because I'm ready to feed him some berries but uh, <laughs> so if we show up with full pets they don't want to eat what we want to give them to show you guys the prizes yep so I just went to the the splash page there of Jumbleberry Fields I opened and closed the arcade and now you'll see berries appearing in the arcade so I'll just play this until a berry appears and then we'll go to my room Jumbleberry Fields Fields is a game, it's kind of like Yahtzee. You have to match berries and score them in, in different categories. The jumble berries and sugar berries, the, the red berries and the yellow berries, are worth the least amount of points. They're only worth two points. The green berries, pickle berries, are worth four points, and the moon berries are worth seven. I actually posted a tutorial on how to play jumbleberry fields. Oh, look, there's a jumble berry. I'm going to click on it. Let's see what type of berry we got. That's because there we go. you opened the double shop. Now you're getting the slutty clickies, which is really handy because exactly yeah you want oh look at that another for people who may play next and haven't tried classic or for people who haven't tried next or haven't tried it in a while there's a very similar game oh you got five pickleberries i got five I'll, I'll score it in the sugar berry category, though. Sorry, continue. No, I was just going to say there is a similar game in Next that you guys can check out if you love Jumbleberry Fields as much as I do. Right, yeah. right, right. There, there's a game called Diner Dice on Next. So, you know what? If you haven't tried Webkin's Next in a while, please go back because we've added lots of games. We've added lots of features. And Diner Dice is one of my favorite games, just like Jumbleberry Fields is one of my favorite games in Classic. No, absolutely. So I mentioned that you can collect berries during Berry Fest from the floaty clicky. We're also going to have a, a wheel of yum every day that you can spin from today's activities for the chance to get even more berries. But when you click on that floating jumble berry, you saw there I just earned a pickle berry. That berry is going to go to my dock and you can actually feed that to your pet or you can use it to fill up your jars of preserves. But like I mentioned before as well, there's also a chance that you can collect those. Uh, I'm going to go for a basket of five here. But there's also a chance you can get the uh, Google berries and polar berries. And um, yeah, yeah, every time, like I said, you feed it to your pet, you'll win a prize. So I'm just going to quit this game right now. And uh, let's just go to my room. And um, I wanted to show you some of the new prizes for Berry Fest. So the Google berries and the polar berries give out prizes, right? Sometimes... When you feed one of the other berries to your pets, you'll get a prize too, right? But not always. That's rare. But if you decide to feed a jumble berry to your pet, there's a chance you could get a prize. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so you can use those berries to fill up your jars of preserves, and it takes 100 berries to fill up each jar. And when you actually fill up one of those jars, you can choose the prize that you want to keep, or you can try feeding the berries to your pet. And when you do, there's a very small chance that you're going to win one of the prizes, but you're not able to choose the prize. It's just random awarded so yeah that's a really good point all right mandy here we are in my room sorry for the mess i got some pizza boxes oh, and some books here it's but such um, a cheerful colorful room it's so i love these colors so bright and yeah cheerful and actually, I'm sh I wanted to show off these new prizes. So in July, we have a marshmallow collection on Webkin's Classic. You can collect marshmallows from your Kinsville map. And if you collect all 50, you get the grand prize, which in July, the grand prize is this bunk bed. It's a bright bedroom bunk, but you can all you also earn prizes as you work towards the grand prize. So the other prizes, oh, 
here's a jumble berry. Let me click on that. Hopefully I'll get a goo goo berry. Oh, I did. Look at that. I got a goo goo berry. So there you go. But so there's this bunk bed that you can earn in July. There's um, a desk here, the desk chair, this carpet. When you rotate the carpet, it switches colors, which match the, the little highlights on each of these items. And there's a wardrobe as well. But I wanted to put these in this room because I found that they work so well with the DIY pieces of furniture that you can make with the DIY die and uh, the furniture and design tickets from the DIY section of the W shop. Like even the plain white one here works really well with the marshmallow collection prizes. Yeah, and that patterned one, I believe, is the e-store die, right? And that picks up all the colors. So those yeah. those go so nicely together. I, I love that room. It's so bright and fun. And I love bunk beds because you can sleep two pets at once. Yeah, exactly. I should mention as well, yeah, that the, the, there's two premium dies and they're both available at the W shop in the DIY section under fun stuff. So I just got that Google Perry. Let me feed it to my pet and you'll see that I will win a prize. There's actually berry fairies, which are the grand prizes this year for feeding your pet a polar berry and a Google Berry. Here's a wig. I have um, several of these berries in my dock. So let me just feed a couple. The wig was actually available last year, but there are several new prizes, including look at these, the Google Berry headphones. That's pretty oh, cool. Those are cool. By the way, at the end of this episode, we're going to give away a code for a free Goo Goo Berry and a free Polar Berry. So stay tuned for that. I'll also show you what all the prizes look like. So I can add those um, headphones to my pet and they will be wearing them in room. Really cute here. Let me feed another one to my pet. See if we can get that grand prize, which is the Goo Goo Berry Fairy, which is a pet buddy. Nope. This one's a new one, though. It's a milkshake and it's actually presentable milkshake. Oh, I love presentable food. I mean, we have so many great great foods and the foods are so beautiful but I love it when we have foods that you can place in your room like it's just it adds it's those details that make webkin so much fun right like when you're decorating those little bit like the pizza boxes and yeah. the, the soda on the floor so presentable foods are like this little detail that I just love by the way this desk which you can win in July by playing the marshmallow collection event you can actually place things on the surface of the desk so right here here I actually have the Jumbleberry Fields trophy. And so during Berry Fest, we just showed you Jumbleberry Fields, the game there. During Berry Fest, which runs until, again, Thursday, June 30th, right until the end of the month, there's also going to be a Jumbleberry Fields trophy challenge. And if you complete the challenge, you're going to be awarded the Jumbleberry Fields Trophy. And I have one in my room here. And the tasks to that you need to complete in order to win the trophy, you'll have to play Jumbleberry Fields six times during Berry Fest. But remember, you know, you can play Jumbleberry Fields once a day, but during Berry Fest, you're going to get a bonus play. So you're going to get two plays a day of Jumbleberry Fields during Berry Fest. You'll also have to feed your pet two Goo Goo Berries and two Polar Berries. Ooh. And yeah. So, and we're giving one of each away during this uh, podcast. So, you know, you can get a head start on your challenge that way. Let's see if I get, oh, look, another Goo Goo Berry. Let me just feed my pet a couple of polar berries before we leave here. Oh and look my at that. gosh, you got the fairy. Yeah, That's it's a polar so... berry fairy. So this is a boy fairy. The Goo Goo Berry is a girl, the fairy. But um, as I said, they work like just like pet buddies. So you can actually just add them to your pet and they'll float over your shoulder in room, which is great. And you can also, you know, take them to the clubhouse and show them off there. I, I love these little uh, pet buddies that we have. We've released many over the years, but um, yeah, there it is. Really, really cool. I don't know. I don't think my pet is too hungry right now. So I won't be able to feed more berries to my pets for now. But um, that's that's OK, because I'll I'll show you actually all the prizes that you can win during Berry Fest. Yeah, I love the pet buddies. We do have lots and some of them are fan designed, which is super cute. But uh, yeah, these fairies are so cute. Yeah, right. And when you complete your challenge, there's actually also a Berry Fest 2022 poster that um, you can display in your pet's room. Cute. Yeah, I saw that in your pet's room. It's pretty cute. All right, Manny. So like we said, we're going to be giving away a code for that Goo Goo Berry and Polar Berry, which uh, will help you complete that challenge. But I promise to show off all the prizes. So here are the Goo Goo Berry prizes this year. The bear, that teddy bear and the wig are repeats from last year. But the rest of the prizes, the five other prizes are completely new. And um, there's a look at the Goo Goo Berry Fairy. That little plushie? <laughs> yeah. Cute. I love it's really cute. 
and, and the okay. lunchbox. These are great prizes. These, the lunchbox will go well. Wasn't there a sleeping bag last year? Yep. So yeah, if you're going camping, if you if you managed to get that sleeping bag last year, then you can take your lunchbox along for a snack at a sleepover. Yeah, and you can use the, the lunchboxes to actually store food. And here's a look at the polar berry prizes. And they're actually polar berry versions of the Google berry prizes. So there's the lunchbox as well, the little teddy bear, the plushy earphones, milkshake, and the pet buddy that I just won. And we do have some new Jumbleberry Fields prizes, right? Yeah, yeah, no, we do. We actually, the, the teddy bear that you see there, we have um, four versions of those. And there's a moonberry wig and a pickleberry wig, but we also actually have the berry fairies for each of the berries as well. The jumbleberry, sugarberry, moonberry, pickleberry fairies. And um, yeah, again, you can choose to trade your filled jars of preserves for those prizes when you play jumbleberry fields. So lots of exciting things happening for Berry Fest. You want to play every day to get as many goo goo berries and polar berries as you can, because you never know what prizes are going to be returning next year. But as promised, Mandy, do you want to do the honors for the goo goo berry and I'll give away the code for the polar berry these codes by the way expire august 31st 2022 and these are codes for webkins classic okay so this one can be entered in the code shop which you can find under the things to do menu it's w243 k5 8 9 z b z c 4 v 9 s there you go. Enjoy, guys, your free Goo Goo Berry. And here's your code for a free Polar Berry. It's W24PAZL5V25N5YXE. And like we mentioned, those codes expire at the end of August. Right. I just wanted to remind everyone, Father's Day has passed, but uh, Mandy, there's still time to enter codes for that awesome frame jersey on Webkins Classic and Webkins Next, right? That's right. So this was a printable card that we gave away for Father's Day. Now, the one for Webkins Next expires on June 26th, so you definitely want to enter that code in the W shop in Webkins Next. And that's the codes in Webkins Next are great because <laughs> you can do something like Father's Day 2022 and it, it makes it a lot easier. But yeah, the code for classic is W24REPFYHZKK5S. Five, six. And again, you can find this at Webkins News, but uh, it's a really great item. Yeah. And when you enter the code at the W shop on Webkins Next, you, you open up the W shop and there's a button. I think it's a redeem code button on the top right corner of the W shop. And when you click on that on Webkins Next, you'll be able to enter the code. So there you go, guys. This was a Podkins mini all about Berry Fest, which is currently taking place on Webkins Classic. Remember, guys, if you want to see floaty clickies in the arcade, and this is not only for Berry Fest, it's for any floaty clicky event that we hold on webkins classic while you're in the arcade just open and close the w shop and you'll start seeing them while you play games so yeah. i know i like to see them when i play games i was gonna say one more quick thing about father's day to celebrate dads for the rest of the month also visit the backyard barbecue room in the clubhouse right and, on webkins classic yeah exactly and you can get a hot dog every day and when you feed them to your pet you'll get a prize so that was one more little thing the the celebration of dad, Father's Day might be over, but until the end of the month, there's a barbecue in the clubhouse. That's right. And this year we've added a grand prize to the Kinsville hot dog uh, prize pool, and it's a, an actual Kinsville hot dog cart. So uh, yeah, every time you feed your pet a Kinsville hot dog, you have a chance of winning that cart, but you're guaranteed to win a prize every time, just like you are when you feed Goo Berries and Polar Berries to your pets. Anyway, Mandy, that was so much fun. Great. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for listening, and hopefully we'll see you in Kinsville. Bye.